Good morning. For our butterfly, you'll need a black crayon. I'm going to use watercolors to color in my butterfly, but you can use markers or crayons. And then something that you can use to rub the flat side against your paper. So you might think about using a cup or a ruler, maybe a book. Um, I have this cardboard that I cut that has a flat edge. Either those or the flat side of like a pen or a chopstick. Something like that. First things first, fold your paper in half. This is the fold or the line that's going to divide our butterfly in half. So along that fold, draw a line with your crayon. Make sure you press down hard because we need a lot of that like waxy crayon on the paper. Now I'm going to draw half of my butterfly. I'm working on the left side. You can do whatever side you want. There's half of the head and half of the body. Now I'm gonna draw the butterfly wings. So starting at the body, I'm gonna curve up into that corner because I wanna fill my page. Now I'm gonna draw wavy curved lines about halfway down and finish off so that I have the first top half of my wing. Time for the bottom. I'm gonna curve down and meet it in that other corner. Now, this is the basic shape of a butterfly. Monarch butterflies are famous for all their really bold black markings. So to start, I'm gonna draw two more curved lines along the edges of my wings. Now, I'm just gonna fill in that area with circles. Remember to press down hard. You can draw as many or as few as you want. Next, I'm gonna draw some more lines to kind of create spaces in the wings. I'm gonna start with a simple line and now I'm going to curve a couple more lines out towards the edges. You can either stop there or you can make your lines thicker and kind of see how I'm creating like a triangle where my lines meet. You can do this any way you want. I just want to make these black lines really bold because that's what a monarch butterfly has. So I'm just going over them multiple times, pressing down hard. Same thing on the bottom wing. Last thing for this step is to add in an antenna. Butterflies are symmetrical, which means that both sides are equal but opposite of each other. This fold is going to help us draw the other side of our butterfly. Using a pen, the pen if you have it, start tracing over the lines that you see on the back of your paper, right? So I folded mine over and now I can see where I drew my butterfly. I'll show you in just a second. If you press down really hard, what's happening is I'm transferring the wax of the crayon from one side of my paper, look, to the other side. Now this is one way, so it's folding over. The other way you can do it, if maybe that's not so great and you're not so great at tracing, is to use a flat edge and really press down hard and go over your entire paper. So I'm speeding it up just a little bit. You can use a book, you can use a ruler, you can use just a flat edge that you can really push down hard. And when I open it, you can see it's traced over. It's not as dark maybe as with the pen, but you can pick 
And however you do it, I want you to spend some time really pushing down and tracing over so that we get our symmetrical half of our butterfly. When you're done and you open it up, you should see two equal but opposite sides of your butterfly so they are symmetrical. Both sides match up together. With a black crayon, trace over that second side. You'll also color in the body and the edges of the wings. From here, you're ready to color in your butterfly. I'm using watercolors. So the first thing is to get those colors uh, wet, right? So I'm adding a drop of water. If you're using markers or you're using crayons, you're going to want to look for the colors of a monarch. So like red, orange, and yellows. And you can begin coloring in your butterfly. I'm starting with red closest to the body. And I'm going to work my way out with a lot of oranges. I'm going over and I'm kind of trying to blend my colors. However you do it is up to you. You can do each shape, right, that we created a different color. Or you can kind of just go over the lines like I am. Either way, at the end, you should have a beautifully colored in monarch butterfly. If you used watercolor, be sure to let it dry before you move it. And there is your beautiful, symmetrical monarch butterfly. <laughs>